This is how you can make an advanced blacklist server system for your discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get access to the source code from this video and other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership on YouTube or a subscription over on Discord. On YouTube, if you get the super god or custom bot tier, you'll get access to that source code. And on Discord, if you get the god or custom bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. And of course, if you get the custom bot tier on either platform, you'll get access to a custom coded Discord bot by me and my staff team. If any of this is of interest to you, you go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go and get into the video all right so we can start by going over to our schemas and we can go ahead and create blacklist server.js now all you have to store in your schema is going to be a guild which is going to be set to string and you can just call it blacklist server and give it all the name just like this very very simple so if you don't already have mongodb set up just go ahead and watch the mongodb guide in the description below and once you have all this set up and you create this schema right here we can go ahead and move into the actual code so you can start by going over to moderation and we can go ahead and and create a blacklist server.js and here we can do cost so we're gonna get our slash command builder and then we can do equals require and we can just get discord.js then we can do const blacklist server equals require we can do dot dot slash dot dot slash we can get schemas and then we can get our blacklist server and just like that then we can do module dot exports we can do equals that we can open this up we're gonna get our data which is going to be new slash command builder then we can go ahead and set a name and this is going to be blacklist server and then we can also go ahead and say a description and this is going to be a blacklist a server from your client and we can go ahead and add a sub command we can do command arrow function command I'll set name this is going to be add and we can go ahead and say a description and we can say add a server to the blacklist and we can go ahead and add a string option we can do option arrow function option I'll set name this is going to be server and we can go ahead and set a description and in here we can say the server id you want to blacklist and we can go ahead and set a required to a true just like that and then we can actually go ahead and copy this sub command here and we can go ahead and paste it down here and instead of add we're going to change this to remove and we can say remove a server from the blacklist and then here we can say the server id you want to remove from the blacklist and then after that we can go ahead and add a comma and then we can come down here we're going to do async executes we can get our interaction and then we can go ahead and open this up we can then do const and we're going to go ahead and get options and we can do equals interaction then we can go ahead and do if and we're going to get interaction.user.id is not equal to and we can go ahead and get the id of yourself or a developer and just paste that in there so basically only you or the developer id you choose can use this command and then after that we can just go ahead and return await interaction or apply we can say content and we can say only and we can say developers can use this command and we can set informal to true and then we can do const server equals options dot get string and this is going to be our server string then we can go ahead and do const sub equals options dot get sub command and lastly we can do const data equals await blacklist server dot find one and that is going to be our guild which is going to be set to our server variable that we set above now we can go ahead and switch and we can go ahead and get our sub and open this up this is going to be case which is going to be add and then we can add a colon here we can start off by saying if no data we can go ahead and open this up we can go ahead and do await blacklist server dot create and we can go ahead and get our guild which is going to be our server and then we can go ahead and send a message here so we can do await interaction dot reply we can say content and we can go ahead and say adding blacklist and we can go ahead and pull that and we're also going to set informal to true as well now we can go ahead and set a timeout and this is going to be an async function we can open that up we can do await interaction dot edit reply and this is going to be content and we can go ahead and and bold this as well and we can go ahead and say indexing servers and we can go ahead and set informal to true on this message as well the next thing that we can go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and come up here and we can go ahead and define our client so that down in here we can go ahead and do const check equals await and then we can do client dot guilds dot cache dot git and this is going to be our server variable and we can say if and we can go ahead and get check we can open this up we can do await check dot leave then we can go ahead and set another timeout so that way we can have a little bit of a delay in the actual messages and before we finish off that timeout we can actually go ahead and set the first timeout to 2000 milliseconds aka two seconds and then this one is going to be set to 3000 seconds so then in here all we have to do is await interaction dot edit reply and we can go ahead and say content and then we can open up some emojis i'm going to get the saluting emoji and we can go ahead and say a blacklist complete and then we can go ahead and say i have also gone ahead and left the server and we can go ahead and get our server id and then and we can say as I was already in it and we can go ahead and set informal to true on that message as well so then the next thing that we can go ahead and do is we can go ahead and find our if statement and we can say else 
We can open this up. We're going to go ahead and set another timeout. We can do async. We can open this up with an arrow function. And then we can do await interaction to edit reply. And we can say content. And we're going to go ahead and get that same exact emoji as we did before. So this message is going to be a little bit different, and I'm going to explain why in a second. But we can go ahead and say blacklist, and we can do complete again. And then we can go ahead and say I cannot join. And we can go ahead and get our server, just like we did before. And we can say any more. And then we can go ahead and set informal to true. And then we can just go ahead and add a space so that it spaces out a little bit. So basically what we're going to go ahead and do here is we're actually going to go ahead and check to see if we or the client is actually in the blacklisted server. And then if that is true, then we're going to go ahead and leave the server, set a timeout and say the blacklist is complete and I've left the server. And if it's not true, as in the bot is not already in that server, then all we have to do is just reply and say the blacklist is complete and we don't actually have to leave the server. All right. So after doing that, we can find our first if statement here and we can go ahead and say else and we can go ahead and return await interaction dot reply and we can go ahead and say content and we can say the server and we can go ahead and get our server and then we can say is already and we can go ahead and get our blacklisted just like that and we're going to go ahead and set informal on that message to true and then after that we can come out of this and we can go ahead and break and we can go ahead and get our case which is going to be removed and then down here we can go ahead and say if and we're going to get no data we can open this up we can go ahead and return await interaction dot reply and we can go ahead and say content and we can say the server and we're going to go ahead and get our server Server, and then we can go ahead and say is not currently blacklisted and we can go ahead and set informal to true then we can go ahead and say else we can open this up we're going to do a way to blacklist server dot delete many and this is going to be our guild which is going to be our server variable and then we can also go ahead and return await interaction to reply and we can say contents and we can go ahead and say i have removed and we can go ahead and get our server variable and we can go ahead and say from the blacklist and we can also go ahead and set informal on this message to true all right, so that's actually all we have to do for the command. All right, so now we can go over into our index.js here and we're gonna go ahead and start off by doing const and we can go ahead and get blacklist server. And we can do equals require and we can go ahead and get dot slash, we can get schemas and we can go ahead and get our blacklist server. And then we can go ahead and do client dot on and we can go ahead and get events dot guild that creates. And then we can go ahead and do async guild and error function to open this up. So this logic is very simple. We can go ahead and start by doing const data equals await blacklist server dot find one is going to be guild which is going to be our guild.id. So now all we have to do here is if no data, we can just go ahead and return and then we can say else and we can just go ahead and do a wait guild.leave. So what you could do is you could go ahead and cache the server owner ID and if you end up leaving the server, you could basically just go ahead and DM them saying you left the server because uh, the server is blacklisted or you could just leave like I'm going to do here with this logic. That's actually all you have to do for this entire system. So we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. All right, so over in our Discord server, we can go ahead and test this out. So we can go ahead and start by by running slash blacklist server and we can go ahead and get add so i'm in this test server right here so i can go ahead and copy that id and we can go ahead and add that to the blacklist here so it's going to go ahead and say adding blacklist and then it's going to go ahead and say blacklist complete i cannot join the server anymore so that means i was not in the server and so i can no longer join it even if i tried so we're going to go ahead and see what happens if i try to join it so we can go ahead and invite it and we can go ahead and get test we can continue we can authorize we can go ahead and confirm that I am a human. And as you can see, it's going to go in and authorize. It's going to say authorize. So now we can actually go in here. And as you can see, the bot is not in the server. So if we go back over here, luckily I have this set up where I believe, yep, here it is. It's going to say new server joined. So it did join the server, but then it automatically left the server. So we know the logic here is working. So the next thing that we can go ahead and do is we can do blacklist server. We can go ahead and remove that server. And as you can see, it's going to remove it. And then now we can actually go ahead and try to join it again. So this time we're going to go ahead and get the test server. We can authorize that. We can confirm. And here it's going to go ahead and authorize. It's going to go ahead and join the server here right now. So now we can actually go ahead and try to blacklist it again. So we can do blacklist and we can get server add. We can go ahead and put that in. So we're going to go ahead and send it and it's going to say adding blacklist. And then it's going to say indexing server. So it's going to check to see if your bot is in that server. And then it's going to say blacklist complete. I've also gone ahead and left the server as I was already in it. So we can go ahead and check this because it's obviously not going to be in here anymore. So it did go ahead and join. I ran the command and then it went ahead and left the server as it should have. And yep, the bot is no longer in the server. All right, so that's how you can make an advanced blacklist server system for your Discord.js version 14 bot. If you need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be happy to help you out. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.